I was uh, sleeping with the director and then it was with the, the, the actor I was filming with. Who was the actor you were filming with? Uh, Eddie Redmayne. Okay. Not that it mattered. I know man. She tempted me, said Eddie Redmayne, as he apologizes to Johnny Depp for having an affair with Amber Heard. Well, hello there. Don't worry, <laughs> Don't worry my darling. <laughs> the Johnny Depp defamation trial is getting intense with each passing day. It is ex-wife Amber Heard who is currently testifying in the court and has made several explosive statements. After allegations of sexual abuse and domestic violence, the actress has now alleged that her husband believed she was having an affair with one of his Fantastic Beast co-stars. But was she? Let's find out in the video. Previously, Amber has made a lot of allegations, including accusing Johnny of assaulting her with a liquor bottle. And he balled up his fists, leaned back, and headbutted me square in the nose. She even claimed that she feared he would push her sister Whitney down the staircase, just like he allegedly threw his ex-girlfriend Kate Moss. In my head, instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs, and I swung at him. Reacting to it all, JD's defense team called it a performance of her life. Amber Heard claims that her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, accused her of having many romances during their marriage, including one with Eddie Redmayne, one of his Fantastic Beast co-stars. According to Unilad, the encounters were brought up during Heard's testimony in Depp's $50 million defamation trial against the Aquaman star. Heard performed alongside Redmayne and the Danish Girl in 2015, a year before Redmayne and Depp collaborated on Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald in 2018. Not only that, but he suspected his then-wife of being associated with Tom Hooper, the film's director. Amber Heard said in the court, I got the sense that he thought I was sleeping with the director, and then it was with the actor Eddie Redmayne I was filming with. The actress also clarified that none of the males were sleeping with her. However, when Johnny Depp called her at her London hotel, he became agitated when she didn't answer right away. She said, we get into an argument. He was accusing me of sleeping with Eddie Redmayne. He thought I was working with Billy Bob Thornton, but I'd already worked with him a year earlier. He was very upset about him. Although The Danish Girl was released in 2015, this would mean that after supposedly having an affair with his wife Amber Heard, Johnny Depp would go on to work with Eddie Redmayne on Fantastic Beasts. For his part, it didn't appear that this had an impact on his performance in the first two films in the magical franchise. After Depp lost his libel action across the pond, he was eventually replaced with Mads Mikkelsen. In terms of Amber Heard's relationship with Billy Bob Thornton, the two actors collaborated in the 2013 mystery thriller London Fields. Throughout their rocky relationship, Heard claims she was often accused by Johnny Depp of having an affair with the Love Actually star. The internet chimed in with their opinions on the matter. A user tweeted, He was accusing me of Eddie Redmayne. Amber Heard says Johnny Depp is jealous of Eddie Redmayne. No offense, but I've never heard of anyone that thinks Eddie Redmayne will steal her woman. So you gonna tell me Johnny Depp is a crazy jealous man that accused her to cheat with Eddie Redmayne, but then he went on to film Fantastic Beasts with him and he speaks nothing but great things about Johnny? Something doesn't add up here, wrote another. Johnny Depp hated Eddie Redmayne so much, he worked with him in two movies. Most scenes with him, after accusing him of having an affair with Amber Heard and was supposed to do up to five. Yeah, makes sense continued another user in his tweet. These weren't the only tweets made. This Twitter user had the following to share. Here we go, Amber Heard dragging Eddie Redmayne's name through the mud, just like James Franco. She is just trying to make Johnny Depp the jealous husband type by provoking him, which explained why he assaulted the pots and pans. Another user said, Love that Amber Heard is trying to take other people down with her, like B, keep Eddie Redmayne out of your effing mouth. Twitter wasn't the only platform where the netizens shared their sentiments regarding the matter. A user started a thread on popular social media site Reddit as well, with the post reading, Amber Heard says Johnny Depp thought she slept with Eddie Redmayne and Tom Hooper on The Danish Girl. Heard broke down on the stand as she detailed how Johnny Depp sexually assaulted her with a liquor bottle during emotional testimony that the actor's defense team labeled the performance of her life. The alleged assault took place in March of 2015 in Australia at the rented home he was living in while filming Pirates of the Caribbean 5. This is the same incident that saw Johnny Depp's fingers severed. He claimed Heard threw a liquor bottle which severed it. 
Heard testified that she did not witness Depp's fingertip being cut off. At some point, he's on top of me screaming, I effing hate you, you ruined my effing life. Heard testified as she sobbed uncontrollably. I'm on the countertop. He had me by the neck and was on top of me. I'm looking in his eyes and I don't see him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. I haven't been so scared in my life. He was looking at me. I was trying to get through to him to say in some way it was me trying to get through to Johnny. My head was bashing against the back of the bar and I couldn't breathe. I remember trying to get up to tell him he was really hurting me. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get through to him. I couldn't get up. At this point, Heard became overwhelmed with emotion on the stand. Next thing I remember, I was bent over backwards on the bar. I was staring at the blue light. My back was on the countertop. I thought he was punching me. I felt this pressure on my pubic bone and I could feel his arm moving. It looked like he was punching me. I could just feel his pressure. I don't remember what I said. I just remember being really still, not wanting to move. I remember looking around the room, looking at all the broken bottles, broken glass, and I remember not wanting to move because I didn't know if it was broken. I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. I couldn't feel it. I didn't feel pain. I didn't feel anything. I saw so much broken glass. I didn't know if he would know if it was broken or not. And I remember thinking, please go. I hope it's not broken. I don't know how that ended. I don't know how I got off the countertop. I just remember being in the bathroom. I remember retching. The sound of my voice was making. I lost control of my bladder. I remember just retching. There was blood on the floor. Depp's team claim the actress's tales of abuse have evolved with new and convenient details and plan on exposing her lies on cross-examination. But Amber didn't stop here. Heard claimed that during one fight in December 2015, Depp headbutted her and beat her so badly she thought she would die. She said that he told her, you really want to go now, tough guy, before punching her. She said, Challen like challenging me, he said it in that way, challenging me to stand up and get back up, and when I did, he said, oh, you really want to go now, tough guy? Shut me back down. Oh, you really want to go, huh? Oh, you're so tough. I stood back up again. This time he hits me in the face. I look him right in the eyes. It was a really still moment. He said, you want to go again, tough guy? I looked right up at his face. He balled up his face, leaned back, and headbutted me square in the nose. Instantly, I felt searing pain. It's one of the few memories I have of physical pain, searing pain. Depp dragged Heard by the hair into a neighboring apartment, leaving chunks lying all over the floor. He got on top of her with her face in a pill and was repeatedly beating her. Heard said, He's trying to hold me with his knees on my back and he's punching me with a closed fist repeatedly. I thought this is how I die. He's going to kill me now. He's going to kill me and he won't even have realized it. That's it from our side. Now we want to know what you feel regarding the allegations made by Johnny about Amber and Eddie. Do you think Amber really cheated on Johnny with Eddie? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates.